What's up, everybody? It's that dude, Supreme Decisions, and today I actually want to come to you. Yes, I'm still at Pinewood Movie Studios here in Georgia. Well, today I actually want to come to you with a little bit of a definition because you heard me speak about it in a past video. And in the video, I used the word ex parte. Well, here's the kicker. When I was using it, I was talking about what happens or one of the things that's done in a child removal matter. Well, the funny part is it actually shows up in criminal matters. But here's the here's the kicker. I'm going to explain to you about the criminal matter later. But I'm going to talk about the actual definition of ex parte what the legal ramifications or what they what it actually is supposed to mean and how it's supposed to apply however it's applied in a different manner when it comes to a criminal act the definition that's given for the legal term ex parte is in a civil procedure ex parte is used to refer to motions for orders that can be granted without waiting for a response from the other side generally these are orders that are only in place until further hearings can be held, such as temporary restraining orders. Now, when you're talking about that, you heard me use the words civil. I also spoke about how it shows up in criminal matters. These are also things that you're going to hear me talk about when I use things such as contempt in a criminal matter, when it comes to subpoenas, you're going to hear ex parte again when it comes to other actions that are done when you're doing your Freedom of Information Act request or FOIA request or even your motions to compel that generally will be followed up with subpoenas because these are quote unquote ex parte actions. But even in this, you heard them say, well, heard me say, read, whatever, temporary restraining orders. And generally, these temporary restraining orders are done because there has been some sort of criminal act that has been acted upon. And even in most cases, is going to be in some type of domestic situation, whether it's from a fight or it's from someone vandalizing someone else's property to, you know, a lot of cussing and yelling, you know whatever's your flavor but all of those can be dabbled in there now as i go deeper into the ex parte meaning i'm also going to make sure you guys understand how to apply it because i'm going to once i finish up the 100 i'm going to go into law as a weapon that series is going to be more in depth is actually going to be put together as the actions of how to basically weaponize your defense to win so be on the lookout for that but like i said we're going to finish up the 100 and once that's concluded know that we're going to go into something else don't forget support the podcast those of you that are listening what is it 9.99 4.99 or 99 cents a month any support is welcome as well as don't forget to purchase the t-shirts and lastly join the website there are four tiers one of them fits you it's a monthly donation which actually allows you to get exclusive content that's not on youtube so join the tier let's get rolling and make sure you're in the know supreme out.